Hello subscribers, here is another review, and uh, it's the Battle Damage Gallimimus. So, um, I recently picked this up at Walmart, and um, when I went to the shelf, um, there was nothing there besides the stuff no one wants. And I looked up on the top shelf, and there was a few Battle Damage figures up there, so I pulled them down, and fortunately, this Gallimimus was one of them. And um, there's only two um, Battle Damage figures uh, left which is the uh, Pteranodon and Yellow Velociraptor. And hopefully I'll be getting those in the future. So here's the box, you know, nothing new. Front, in the back. And now uh, let's waste no time and get this figure out of the packaging. Now here is the Gallimimus out of the packaging. And I have to say, this looks like a great figure. A huge step up from the um, Attack Pack Gallimimus. So let's start by taking a look at the detailing. Now for this figure, we really don't need to go over the detailing since it's very similar to the Attack Pack Gallimimus. See, like I said, detailing, not bad, but not good either. See, you just got, you know, the same lines right here. Got the nicely sculpted head right here. Then, you know, the feet and the hands right here. See on the bottom, you got the uh, scan code for Jurassic World Facts app. And then, see the side of the figure and the top. And, yeah, that's that's it for the detailing. On to articulation, you just got, you know, five points of articulation. The neck, the arms, and uh, the legs. Getting to the paint job, now this paint job really appeals to me. It's mostly like, you know, dark brown striping, a uh, sandy colored underbelly, and of course the uh, uh, caramel brown. It's very movie accurate to the um, Gallimimuses in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Now onto the overall look of this figure, or the aesthetics. This is a very nice looking Gallimimus figure. It's a uh, movie accurate, the sculpt and the paint job, and it's probably one of the best Gallimimus figures we got from a Jurassic Park toy line. And I don't have the Legacy Gallimimus yet, but once I get the Legacy figure, and uh, when I compare it with this one, I'll probably see which one is the best. And I guess my only problem with this figure is, you know, the fat body for a dinosaur that's, you know, supposedly skinny and agile. And of course, the ba the action feature is the battle damage, which is a very huge wound. Starting off the comparisons, here's the battle damage Gallimimus next to the attack pack Gallimimus. As you can see, sculpt paint job, the battle damage is obviously the better, better figure. See, because this one always has balancing issues and the paint doesn't even continue all the way down the tail. This one, I believe, is supposed to be based off of the uh, Gallimimus from the original movie. But yeah, this is, this is a better figure right here. Like, both are really cool. I really like both figures, but like I said, this is a better Gallimimus toy. Here is Gallimimus next to the Wave 2 attack pack Herrerasaurus. Here is Gallimimus next to two other battle damage dinosaurs, the Monolophosaurus, and of course, Blue. Here is the Gallimimus next to some Roarvors, the Baryonyx, Ceratosaurus, Sinoceratops, and Ankylosaurus. Here is the Gallimimus next to the Action Attack Carnotaurus. As you can see, this Gallimimus uh, will make, you know, a perfect snack for this predator. Here is the Gallimimus inside the jaws of Rexy. As you can see, these two figures are very movie accurate, and, they're, and they scale pretty well with each other. Well, there you have it, guys. This is the Battle Damage Gallimimus. I do recommend you guys picking up this figure. You can find it at Walmart stores or Walmart's website. And I have to give, if I had to give this figure a rating, it would probably be an 8.5 out of 10. So, that is it for this review. If you guys like this video, leave a comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next review.